For over a decade, I have filled canvases with lines, maps, and marks in the assertion of place. The new paintings in my exhibition, Song Lines, continue exploring my long-standing visual curiosity around diagrams and structures found in multiple sources, including maps, the burnt system of trees, street signs, and nautical flags. Yet in these new paintings, my attempt is to push through the certainty of the diagram, the mapped lines, and move into more uncharted and improvisational waters. Also, given these challenging times, I have made an intentional choice to work with a palette and methods that speak to a certain lightness and buoyancy as a counterbalance to the weight and heaviness we are currently living with. For five years, from 2011 to 16, I had the opportunity to live with my family in Western Australia. It was during that time that I first learned about the labyrinth of invisible pathways, which meander all over Australia and are known to Aboriginals as song lines. During a walkabout, the name of every plant, rock, and water hall was sung out. But even more interesting to me and relevant to my art practice is the implication that a song line was both map and wayfinder. As my understanding of song lines grew, it affirmed and enriched my instinctual use of line as wayfinder in my own work. For me, the best work arises when I can step aside and allow the unexpected guest to arrive at my door. That is one reason why I am attracted to abstraction. As a painter of abstraction, I embrace this duality, seeking certainty and clarity, yet simultaneously welcoming improvisation. And related to improvisation is the concept of song. By singing the world into existence, the Aboriginal Australians are poets. A walkabout is a type of ritual journey. In my show, Songlines, I respond to and explore these rich themes with paint, line, and color. <laughs>